cancers welcome to my channel so this is going to be your september love and relationship reading we're going to look into the cards and see what the universe wants you to know during this mercury retrograde season um, and whatever else is coming in your direction that you need to know about all right so let's see spirit what messages do you have for cancers what messages do you have for cancers what do they need to know about their situation and their person. Okay, I almost lost control of the entire deck here. Some cards wanted to flip out. All right. Hot and cold, helpless, and you turn. Someone is thinking about coming back to you. We have changing your mind about where you want to go and be. We also have helpless. I feel trapped by my circumstances. There's nothing I can do. And we have hot and cold. On and off relationships, sending mixed signals don't know what they want all right so there's someone here who keeps just going round in circles with this connection and i feel like you may be tired of this person and you could have pulled back from them and now they're feeling it so if you're not speaking to this person cancers they're feeling your energy and this person is wondering do you still want them or do you still want um to be in this connection it's like they expected something more from you than what you're given. This person was holding back, but now they want to come forward. But there's something here that this person is feeling helpless about. I wonder if it's another connection that they're in. Maybe they can't move away from that connection right now, and this is what you're wanting from them. Yeah, they think that you're dating someone else if you're holding back from this person, and they're worried. We have against time. All right, so we have dating, ready to start dating, meeting new love interests, getting over someone. So this person feels like you're getting over them, like you don't want them anymore. We have rushing before it's too late, took a long time, walking on thin ice. Yeah, this person knows that they're walking on thin ice with you. They feel like you could reject them if they come towards you. I don't feel like that's going to stop them, though, because this is someone who is making a U-turn. So if someone walked away from you, they are coming back. Spare what messages do you have? messages do you have for cancers oh here we are all right so we have regret incomparable and new perspective we have i regret walking away i wish i knew then what i know now incomparable no one has ever made me feel the way you do you're irreplaceable and we have new perspective i'm seeing us with new eyes it's all so clear now so yeah this person i feel like it took for you walking away and not speaking to someone or just turning your back on this person cancers for them to understand what this connection means to them Someone was manipulating your person. We have twisting facts, making them feel sorry. They act like a martyr. So this could have been their baby mom or their wife or someone who was wanting um, them to just only have eyes for them. But I feel like they know that this person has eyes for you as well. I feel like there's someone that they're dealing with. Um, they could be married. I don't see any marriage cards here. So that's not going to be everyone's situation. It could just be that they're dealing with someone else and they're committed to this person some way, somehow. Okay, maybe living with them. Maybe they have children with them. But someone is manipulating this person to stick around with them. I feel like they want you. They want to come towards you. But they're being manipulated by somebody here. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What do they need to know about their person and their situation during this Mercury retrograde? All right, so for some of you, this person smokes a lot. They could smoke a lot um, and start thinking about you and miss you a lot. Some of you, this person may smoke weed a lot. They may um, smoke hookah. Maybe this is something that you guys used to do together. They could be missing that and missing you. We have, I've never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. Yeah, you got somebody missing you, Cancers. They're in their head about you big time. Yeah, this person ran away from you, though, because we have runner. We also have the X factor. You see, there's an X that still plays a role in your person's life. Um, we have someone still caught up with an X needing to X people out that are toxic. So I feel like they could be in some sort of toxic connection with someone else, but they want to come towards you. We also have brainstorming, ideas, problem solving, figuring shit out. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to make something work with you and also what they're going to do about this other person that they're dealing with. We have shine. Your light irritates their demons. So this person may see you doing really, really well and that you don't. It's like you're not stressing about this, but now they are. Okay. 
they're stressing about this big time. Yeah, we have game over. For some of you, this person could be incarcerated. We have locked up about to be or always in and out. Okay, so this person may be locked up and maybe they can't get to you. And so they're stressing about the situation and if you still want them and care about them. I feel like when it comes to this person being locked up, that could be very specific though. I don't feel like that's everybody's situation here. So take it as it resonates with you. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What messages? That card just flipped around in the circle. <laughs> All right, so we have stringing you along, keeping you as plan B, no intentions of committing, giving you false hope. Yeah, see, this is what this person was doing to you. This person was doing this to you. They walked away. They thought you were going to chase them. You didn't. You started living your life. We also have, you know, already knowing the T. Yeah, see, you already know what's going on with this person. They feel like they're hiding something from you, but they're really not. I feel like once upon a time, you and this person had a good connection. Things were like really, really um, good. You know, there was a lot of love. You could trust this person. You you guys were always around each other. And then it's like this person started pulling away because of someone else. And I feel like that's where things got screwed up. Because we have love story once upon a time. Like, yeah, once upon a time, things were good between you and this person. And it's like... You're thinking about that and you're remembering those times, but it's like you're not going to take this person's bullshit anymore. And they're not used to you being this way. So if you're pulling away from someone, they're not used to it. We have, I hate nothing about you. So now this person is realizing all the, look at this card, knowing they fucked up. <laughs> I feel like this was someone who was constantly stringing you along running away from you they could have been going back and forth with an ex okay and now this person is stressed out because you're either not talking to them you're barely talking to them or you've either blocked this person found someone else or you're just not interested anymore and so they're worried about that okay so let's get one more and then we're going to get some tarot spirit what messages do you have for answers all right, so we have first love. No one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. Wow. And then we also have indestructible and everlasting love, surviving it all, you will stay together. So the universe seems to think that because this person doesn't want to give up on this connection and they're going to keep coming back, like this is someone who refuses to let you go. I feel like they didn't have a problem, Cancers, letting you go before when you were fighting for this, but now that you're no longer fighting for them or this connection and you're acting like you could give a damn, now this person wants you back. So expect for this person to come running toward you because they know they fucked up, <laughs> okay? Um, expect for them to contact you or keep trying. I feel like you're always on this person's mind. They're not gonna give up on this. Even if they're not saying anything, I feel like this could be someone who's not saying anything to you they're sort of watching you possibly. I did not see um, the Page of Swords yet. I didn't see the stalking card yet, but we'll see what comes out here in the tarot. But um, yeah, someone is missing this connection really bad, but they're just trying to act like they could care less about the situation. They feel like you have someone else. They may feel like someone has taken their place and it's I feel like it's bothering them. But they're trying to play it cool like they don't care. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? What messages do you have for cancers? Yeah. All right. So we have the Eight of Cups. We also have the Fool card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Or this person wants a new beginning after walking away from you. They want to start this over. But they're not sure what you want. What messages do you have for cancers? Mm. Six of swords reverse. They want to come out of this energy with you. Yep, reconciliation. Okay, so you can expect the reconciliation from this person because that's what they want. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? Somebody is stubborn here. My cards are sticking, not wanting to come out. Page of Cups. I feel like this person is trying to hold back for whatever reason. They're very stubborn, very prideful. It's like they feel like if they come toward you, 
that um, they're going to seem weak. So they're trying to remain like um, strong. I'm sorry. Give me one second. That card flipped right on the floor. It's pretty, it flipped on the floor. The Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning with you. Like you can't deny this. The Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Fool. This is what they want. Some of you could be dealing with a younger water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, such as yourself. But this person is wanting you back. They feel like they've lost you for good. They're not sure, though. That's the thing. But they don't want to reach out and ask you or find out from you. It's like they're just trying to hold back. All right. So we have the High Priestess, the Judgment, and the Devil. You got, look at these three major arcanas that you have. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn a Scorpio or a Pisces. If you're not dealing with either one of those signs, this person has some sort of obsession or addiction to you and they want a second chance with the judgment, but they have secrets. They're hiding either their feelings or they're hiding the fact that they still haven't left this other person that they were dealing with, but they still can't seem to let you go. They don't want, I feel like this person doesn't want anyone else to have you. It's like they refuse. It's something like I'm hearing like, I refuse to let anyone have cancer. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer? What messages? This person didn't think you were going to walk away from them or they didn't think you were going to ignore them, cancers. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have? What does cancers need to know during this Mercury retrograde? What is their person feeling and thinking? Let's just ask it. Not that card flipped right out when I said that. Oh, okay. This person is thinking like, I want to come in with an equal give and take for cancers because the chariot, they want to move this forward. This person is playing mind games though with the five of swords. And I feel like you know this about your person and that's something else that may be pissing you off that they're being manipulative instead of them just calling you and apologizing or making something right. Whatever happened here, this person could have did something wrong. Whatever happened, instead of them just doing the right thing, they're being immature about the situation. I don't feel like this person is all that happy where they are, because if they were, they would not be thinking about getting you back or missing you so much. I don't feel like they're happy at all. I feel like you were this person's happiness, and now they're realizing it. Spare with message. Yep. When I flip the deck, well, split the deck rather, we have the Two of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn that's trying to work on getting you back. They're not quite sure what they want to do yet. Yeah, this person's feeling left out in the cold. Expect them to come towards you. We have the Three of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups here. So this person feels like you're their soulmate, but I feel like this is all of something that they're realizing now that you're not speaking to them or you're not taking this serious anymore. You've pulled away your, um, like you've pulled your energy back. Even if you haven't totally walked away from this person, it's like you're giving them some sort of energy that they're not used to cancers at all and it's scaring the hell out of them. They don't like this energy. This person may even come towards you being aggressive with the Knight of Swords. But there's still something that they need to figure out because at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands here. So there's still someone else in their energy, but they're not really worried about this person right now. They're too busy focused on you. Yeah, this person's still coming in emotionally unstable though with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Spare white messages. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius with that Knight of Swords. Spare white messages do you have for Cancers? What do they need to know about their situation? Your person, what can they expect to run this Mercury retrograde? You have the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, so you can expect good news, you can expect messages from this person. They're still very passionate about you. This person may love the sex with you, and it could be that you know, when it comes to this other person, they don't get that type of energy, they don't feel that way about them. Um some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone, again, who's just immature. 
but this person is realizing so much about you in this connection now that you guys aren't together or that you aren't speaking. I just feel like there's a lot of love here, but this person doesn't know how to appreciate it. But now they do because they're missing you. So whatever you were given to the... There could be a Leo that you guys are dealing with here that is still wanting to hang on to this connection with the Four of Pentacles. Yep, and they see you as stability. Four of Wands. So this could be your twin flame for some of you. You could be... Um, I don't know why I feel like some of you may be in this twin flame soulmate energy with your person. And this is why they're not wanting to let go of the connection. I feel like the universe made them realize something about you. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for you. So expect during this Mercury retrograde, this person is going to reach out to you. They're going to try to hang on to this. They're seeing this connection in a different light, Cancers. Okay. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lied to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.